At Antietam, this is a memorial to the, the 11th Mississippian group that fought at Antietam. Move! Still, not 100 yards! Reenacting organizations, you have your mainstream and then you have your more um, progressive. Um, the Maryland, my Maryland gives them an opportunity to actually take one regiment, research it throughout the whole summer, and try everything they can do to recreate that regiment based upon what research shows. We've done uh, several mainstream unit uh, reenactments and stuff like that. Um, the battle scenarios, um, I mean, they're what they are. They're battle, battle tacticals, which shows the public what movements and maneuvers may have looked like out on the field. Um, the progressive side of it, when you have smaller guys that are really research-oriented, um, there's more of a chance that you're going to have a one-on-one -on -one with the public. And when you have that one-on-one -on -one with the public, it makes everything worthwhile. Whereas at a mainstream reenactment, not everybody's going to have that opportunity to be one-on-one. -on -one. Um, so when you do a progressive style of event, that's where your research, your time and effort really pays off because not only are you commemorating to be as closely as to what the guy that you're representing was, but you're also displaying what that individual may have looked like, experienced, to the closest that modern day is going to allow you to anybody as a spectator. You research everything from your role, your character, all the way down to the uniforms that you wear, what the different scenarios are, and then when you take all these, um, the research into consideration, what you try to do is you build um, your kit based off of what historical research uh, suggests, which takes a lot of time in order to do. So, um, for an example, a certain regiment was wearing a certain style of jacket. The guys are going to research it, find the original piece. They'll make patterns off of it, and then after that, a lot of them will go ahead and try to reconstruct those um, using the same methods that they used back then, which uh, more or less is uh, thread, needle, and, and, and hand, and a lot of hand work um, involved. It also helps to the public to understand where it is that they, um, they came from um, as a country, as well as to where they're going into the future as a country.